one and one and a half points or percentage different in the interest rates from Monday to Friday last week. So what the Federal Reserve came out and announced on Sunday did help us. We came in on Monday, we did have improving prices from where we were on Friday, but we have not seen the levels of where we were on Monday morning. Uh, they did come down a little bit. They came down again a little bit on Tuesday, and guess what? By about noon on Tuesday, we went right back right up back again. Up. Uh, today, Wednesday, I haven't looked at a rate sheet yet. We came into the office. We wanted to get this show going. Uh, but as of this morning, I'm going to guess that rates are a little bit worse than they were after we got our worsening rate sheet yesterday, yesterday. after 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So it is very, very volatile right now because there is so much question and concern around the economy. Uh, are we going to go into a recession? There's so many people that don't have a job not making money. We are very, very volatile right now. Absolutely. I mean, with everyone having to stay home, it's very different, right? When you're making tips yep. and you're making commissions and you actually have to be face to face with people in order to make that income, it is very nerve wracking for the economy because it's not something that you could just go do at home and still bring in that income. Right. Even some of these great employers, and they have been fantastic. They right? have been, We're yes. getting all those, yes. we're gonna pay our employers. You know, I got one the other day from Nordstrom. Okay, I love Nordstrom. I think they're a fantastic company. I know people that have worked there. My aunt worked there for, it feels like 100 years. <laughs> um, <laughs> love you. <laughs> but she, they took really great care of their employees. Yeah. But they are commission based. Yep. So yes, they're gonna pay their employees. They're shutting down their stores for a week, two weeks. They're gonna pay their employees. However, their employees are not gonna make the income that they normally make by servicing their customers. Right, right. And they are known for their service and that's why the employees do so well. So yes, they're gonna pay their employees and that's fantastic and they're doing the best they can, but they're not gonna be able to pay their employees what they are normally making mm -hmm. and they need to survive right. to pay their bills. Well, and, and another thing too, is if you think about the people that are working uh, at restaurants and mm -hmm. they're getting tips or anywhere that you get tips. I mean, you think about your nail salons, you think about your, um, I, I mean, I think about my European wax center, you know, when I go in right. to get done, um, you know, they're, they're all, they're making an hourly an hourly wage, but right. then they're also making their tips. And this is gonna be a situation where, you know, the, the government is being very good about all of the stimulus packages that are coming out. Yes. They are going to allow everybody to, you know, go on, uh, especially here in the state of California, go on EDD, take the unemployment. They're waiving the one week waiting period for that to happen. Right. Um, but this is the situation where you've got a lot of these tipped workers, cash workers, that don't claim the income. So when they determine what their pay is going to be, trying to help them gap that bridge, it's going to be based on what they filed and what they collected and what they said that they earned. Right. It's not going to be based on what they're actually throwing in the pocket and that they're not claiming. So, you know, one of those things that, you know, it's something right. to think about down the road. We get a lot of questions all the time from people that say, I make a lot more money. I just don't show it. I clean houses. I just don't show it. I'm a bartender. I just don't show it. And we right. have a hard time doing loans. Now you're in a situation where you're going to have a hard time getting your in income gapped. So, you know, what, uh, not that I uh, want to pay the government any more money than what we have to, no. but one of those situations <laughs> where but it, it might have actually worked out to your benefit had you been totally 100% honest right. and claimed what you actually earned. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, and they are being great, right? They're pushing out the due date for your taxes and your tax payment, right? Yep. You said yep. 90 days, I think. 90 days. Mm -hmm. So that's helpful, especially like someone like me that's going to owe even more money. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> we love it. I know. We love it. Uh huh. But, but it's a huge help, right? Yeah. Because right now. Yeah, everybody wants to save and everybody wants everybody, to keep their money in their pocket yeah, and nobody wants to just shell out what they owe for their taxes uh, right now because when they're, they're so, unsure where that money's there's coming such from. uncertainty exactly yeah. so everybody wants to try to hold on to the money that they have in going uh, on that subject though I wanted to bring up something that is really really important for you guys to hear and please please follow my advice no matter what happens, you guys get down, you get low, you don't have enough. The very first thing that you always pay is your mortgage. 
Always. If why? You, oh, why? Why? Because as we go into, if we go into a recession, which, you know, the president got on yesterday and said that he's at this point anticipating a recession. Uh, we don't know 100% if that's going to happen. I'm not the person saying it's going to happen. There's a very good chance we get through all of this and everything just comes rolling back with a vengeance. So no, it, it's all uncertainty right now. Right. I mean, this virus, it it's something you know, no one could plan for, no. no one was ready for. The economy just totally flipped around because of this virus. And it's the and uncertainty. And it's uncertainty. And if we get a hold of it and we can wrap our hands around it, we could totally flip back. So right. we don't know, but it is something to really, you know, be aware of. Well, it's something, It's and, and what you have to do is, you know, I, I have been through many, t many big issues. I mean, I had just started working with my parents who were real estate agents back uh, when the Northridge earthquake hit. Right. And they had a bunch of properties that were in escrow at the time, supposed to close those loans right the next day. And everything stopped. Uh, and that eventually ended up throwing us into a massive recession. Not countrywide, but here in California and Southern right. California, prices dropped I mean, to historic lows on the property values. Then the same thing happened again in 08 when we actually went into, you know, the full recession for the entire country. Uh, I have been through it and I've seen it numerous times. And what I can tell you is number one, when we go into a recession, it is going to take everybody time to catch up. So the last one that we saw in 08, there were a lot of people that did run into issues that didn't have quite the money that they needed to make the mortgage payments, stop making mortgage payments, tried to reach out to the banks, tried to do loan modifications. Loan modifications didn't get done because no, they weren't really doing them yet. They weren't prepared for it. They didn't have the people in place. They didn't have the departments in place to get it done. Mm -hmm. And there were a lot of people that ended up losing their homes who could have actually saved them and could have actually modified. So it is very, very important that right now, of every bill that you have, pay your mortgage. That is the most important thing that you can do. If you don't think that you can pay your mortgage before you have missed your payment, reach out to your lender and let them know. Not your loan officer. I can't help you with that. You need to call the 800 number on your mortgage statement and you need to talk to the servicing department that helps you with your loan. But it is so very important to save that house. Trust me. Down the road, if again, this is all if, we go into a recession. Down the road, once we have been in it and they've had enough time to figure out what they're going to do, they will bring programs around like the HARP program that we had for years, where you can refinance if your property value is upside down. They will have loan modification departments beefed up and in place to start taking the amount of calls that will be coming in. And you will have that opportunity to try to save yourself. But if you stop making that payment right now today, chances are that there's not going to be all of the help that we need to have in place for you to save that. The other thing is, is that when you miss a mortgage payment, it makes it very, very all difficult for us to refinance you, almost impossible. We could we can sometimes refinance you still just to drop an interest rate and try to lower a payment, but cash out is absolutely you know off the table, not going to happen unless you're going to go into subprime. The subprime non-QM world you know, is a much higher interest rate, so by the time you're done refinancing it to pull cash out to get yourself caught up, now you're just back into a payment you can't afford. So really, the only thing that I can stress to you guys right now is the first bill that you pay every month is is your mortgage. The first bill that you pay every month if you're renting should be your rent. You need to have a place to live and you need to have a solid you know, environment for you, for your family, for your kids, for your pets, for everybody. And remember when the housing market, when people start losing their homes, rent goes through the roof mm -hmm. because there is not enough housing. Right. So when this happened in 08, 09, rents and rents in Southern California are already just, in my opinion, ridiculously high. So- But they'll it, get worse. Right. Yeah. So if you can't, if you think you can't afford your mortgage today, imagine what rent will be for a similar size home. home. Right. 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 So make your mortgage payment because you're not gonna end up, you're gonna end up right. losing right. that right. house right. and then not being able to afford 
a rent. Right. So yeah, yeah. keep that in mind. There isn't something else easier out there. There isn't something else better out there because we watched it happen in 08. I was in the mortgage industry and people couldn't even find a place to rent that was half the size for what their mortgage actually was. Yeah. And, you know, so, so that, that brings me to, you know, there's, there's, uh, I've, I've gotten so many questions, comments, um, this week on, like I said, on Facebook at the beginning of the show, in my email, I'm getting questions from people. So I want to start, I'm going to start actually reading those and kind of commenting on them. I think it'll kind of bring everything full circle for everybody. If any of you guys have questions, you want to talk to me, you want to talk to Heidi, give us a call. We'll get you on the calendar. We're going to set up a time for you. We're going to make sure that we call you and we talk to you about you and your scenario and what's best for you and your family. So give us a call. It's 844 935 Three six three four. Remember that we are not doing a show next week right here on Go Country 105. We are only going to be on YouTube, hopefully. And we are counting on everybody listening to this show today to please go to YouTube, subscribe to our channel, Mortgage Mom Radio. We are at 891 subscribers right now. We need 1,000. Once we have 1,000 subscribers, even though we will be working from home, we won't have our equipment, Debbie and Manny can pull out the GoPro or the cell phone, and we can get you guys a show, get you guys updates, everything current to the market. We can't do it unless we've got 1,000 subscribers. So please go to YouTube, subscribe and um, watch us hopefully next week if enough people do it. Right. We're begging you guys, go to Mortgage Mom Radio on YouTube and subscribe to the channel so we can bring you guys another show. Uh, but there's just no way we can't get together. We can't get into the studio next week. Uh, we are all working, you know, from home beginning tomorrow. Uh, you've been working from home all week. Yeah. I, Me and Manny are the only two that have been working from the office this week. I've sent everybody else home. Uh, the very best way to contact us truly is to go to the website or use my phone app and send me an email because right now I've got my receptionist is sitting at home. He's doing a great job. He's answering the phones. He's trying to make appointments. But when you guys are calling in to ask us questions, he cannot see me. He cannot hear me. He doesn't know if I'm on the phone, not on the phone. He's trying to transfer calls to me. I'm already on another call. Phones are going back to him. He can't get you over to me. So the easiest, easiest way during this time that we're in right now is to email. So you guys can email me directly from the phone app. Text the word MOM to 36260. Save that to your you know, home screen. It's really simple. You guys can send us a message right through there. Send me an email. You can go to my website, mortgagemomradio.com. Click on the contact us. You can send me a message there. It's the easiest email ever. It's Debbie, D-E-B-B-I-E, at mortgagemomradio.com. So you guys can send me an email as well, but that truly is the easiest way. If you'd like to schedule a phone appointment, that is the easiest, easiest thing to do right now as well, because if you are on my calendar, you are getting a phone call at that time. I'm obviously calling clients back throughout the day. We're not, we're not, nothing is stopping. If you need to call, it's urgent. We're going to get a message. I'm going to get a, a, you know, a message that says it's urgent, call back. Um, but it's just that in these times right now where everybody is working from home, it is just making it a little bit more difficult. So if you want to keep it easier, send us, send us emails. It's, it's the easiest way. Yeah, one. absolutely. Um, I know for for our current clients, there's been a little confusion trying to get a hold of me. Um, if you do call, Chris can just send you through to my cell phone. I will answer it. There's been a little bit of, I have to leave a message. Or you could just email me, say, hey, Heidi, can you give me a call? Because I am answering my phone. The phone, my direct line rings directly to my cell phone. If you call the main line, Chris can just patch you through. Just ask him to send you through to me. If I'm on the other line, it will ring back to him. Or just send me an email. Again, mine's easy. Heidi, H-E-I-D-I, at mortgagemomradio.com.